Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of scale, specifically how we can solve word problems involving scale, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So in this sample, Jeremiah is drawing a map of the Rio Grande River, and in the scale he uses 1 centimeter represents 25 miles. So that's going to be important for us. 1 cm. Let's go ahead and just make that a fraction here so we can easily turn it into a proportion. 1 centimeter represents 25 miles. The actual length of the Rio Grande River is 1,885 miles. So if we're going to make our proportion, we need to make sure we keep our like units either in the numerator or the denominator. So in this case, we got miles in our denominator. Let's go ahead and put it down there. So how long was the river on Jeremiah's map? Well, remember, Jeremiah is using centimeters, so that is our missing term here. We're missing how many centimeters he is looking for. So if we do a little bit of cross multiplication, we are going to see that it's 1885 times 1. So let's just go ahead and call that 1885 equals 25, and let's just call that C, C centimeters, 25C. So in order to get that, all we need to do is divide both sides by 25, and we'll get it. So let's just divide 25 into 1885. And 25 goes into 188 seven times. That's going to be 175. And so we are left with 135. So that's going to go in there five times. It's pretty close to going in there evenly. That's going to be 125. I'm just thinking of quarters and how many quarters it takes. But there we go. You see that we don't have to keep going very far because we'll get an easy answer there. It's just going to go in four times. So our answer would be 75 and 4 tenths centimeters if we were looking to see how long the map was in centimeters. Now let's look at another example. So in this problem, Pauline is drawing a scale drawing of her bedroom. So in her drawing, the length of her room is 3.2 inches and the length of her actual room is 8 feet. So what scale did Pauline use to create the scale drawing of her bedroom? Well, you might be thinking to yourself, if we're going to use a proportion, we need three numbers and you are correct. Let's go ahead and at least put down the two numbers that we have right now. So we need the length. So we're, we've got the length over length, right? So let's just go ahead and use this length over length. And so let's put her scale on top, 3.2 inches. And then let's put the actual on bottom, which is 8 feet. Now, typically, right, we are going to have some type of scale and we can usually put that over here on our side other side but we are usually given a third number so what do we do in this case well most scale is going to have the number one not all sometimes they might say two inches equals something but since they don't give us an extra number let's just go ahead and make it up ourselves one inch is going to equal blank feet and so inches go with inches. So our one inch is going to go up on top, which means if we're going to set our scale of one inch equals how many feet, now we have our three numbers. We can use our cross multiplication, right? So that's going to be eight because eight times one is simply eight equals. Here is our mystery number. So let's call it F, 3.2 times F. So 3.2 times F. So all we need to do is divide both sides by 3.2, and we will get our scale. So let's divide 3.2 into 8. So we need to go ahead and get rid of that decimal here. And so uh, let's make it 32 into 80. That's going to be a little bit easier for us. So 32 goes into 80 twice twice, not quite three times. So that is going to be 64. Let's just double check. There we go, 64. And if we complete it, we see it's 2.5. So our scale is 1 inch equals 2.5 feet.